You know your life could change if you start creating content. You know your life could change if you start that business. You know your life could change if you do the things God has placed in your heart. So what's stopping you? It's the algorithm. It's the okay but what can you do when i posted that video youtube said it was my worst video they said consider changing the thumbnail i said no watch this video it's gonna change your life i need to create content so i can get rich are you gonna wake up at 5 a.m to film three videos before you get ready and go to work and come back from home at five and edit wake up it's the first set of my i cannot believe we are in june right now the time is just flying but you know what's crazy i know we're all shocked because we was been supposed to be posting consistently you filmed but you didn't post right yeah you made excuses right yeah y'all i'm not even here to judge i feel this way too it's like that feeling of just not wanting to post y'all it does not go away it's okay to be scared but you still gotta post you gotta feel the fear and do it anyway like spongebob said there's nothing to fear but fear itself and the thing is the bible speaks heavily against the spirit of fear because it stops you from doing your god-given assignment thank you guys so so much for all the love 20k what i just want a 10k y'all doubled it god doubled it Give him all the praise, man. So I've been making a lot of like how to grow on social media. I've noticed, right? It's not even the growth. You don't even know where to start, how to start, the best way to go about it. I know that feeling where you're just scared to post. You feel like your friends are gonna judge you. You feel like your family's gonna be like, what are you doing? Or people are gonna be like, oh, you got a YouTube too. You know, that's crazy. When me and Gabby first started posting on YouTube, this boy had posted on his Snapchat everybody got a youtube now and i remember that fueled me because i'm just like yeah everybody does got a youtube but everybody's not me so same for you guys like don't be scared to start don't think people are gonna be like well everybody's creating content now as everybody should i feel like everybody has a different perspective a different walk in life a different story to share so yeah we all should be creating content because for so long the media limited who could be seen whose stories can be heard what truth can be told but now we are the media so post y'all please do not let people People discourage you and that's why I'm here like y'all really think this is about content no I'm just motivating you to go after things you really want but anyway you'll notice the missing nails yeah I've been working first thing first is it a Gina B video without addressing the mindset the mindset is you are exactly who you want to be you want to be a content creator you are a content creator the moment you start creating content you are a content creator cuz tell me what is a content creator someone who creates content are you creating content yes then you're a content creator like there's no way to be a content creator there's no way to be an influencer the moment you start engaging in those acts it's what you are think about it if someone commits a crime are they not a criminal okay so if you create content you are a content creator like i say we are all influencers we all influence people in our everyday life the only difference is bringing that influence online so if you're struggling to start but you're looking at yourself like oh no i'm not a content creator no 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 i don't i'm not a youtuber no 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 you are so act like it no like seriously like no shade like literally act like it the identity you take will influence your action what would your days look like if you were a content creator how would you spend your time like would you be on tiktok scrolling or would you be making tiktok would you be creating or would you be consuming would you be promoting your videos or would you be procrastinating mm, you see what i the play on ways is too crazy for me the biggest shift is i told myself in the beginning of the year i said i'm a youtuber i just i just said no i'm YouTube era and I know you're like we all can't quit our jobs and create content exactly but what are you doing on the weekend what are you doing when you're eating lunch what are you doing when you're waiting for a friend what are you doing on a Sunday when after church because I hope y'all going to church now because ain't no creating without being tapped in with the creator but you know what I'm saying let's get into it these are gonna be practical tips so a lot of you guys love the way I give my tips which makes me so happy because y'all when I'm talking to y'all like I really feel like I'm talking to a friend like I'm just trying to motivate my friend like if my sisters or a friend ask me like Gina like I see you doing your thing on socials like I'm really trying to get like that like how do I do this for real like this is exactly the advice I would give I'm just trying to help I do this I want y'all to do it too first step practice get comfortable talking in front of a camera get comfortable creating content this is not normal I don't care what anybody tries to tell you creating content talking to an inanimate object 
is not normal if i could take another camera and show y'all what i'm doing is weird but what makes it not weird is i know that i'm talking to somebody at the end of the day like right now i may be talking to a camera but i know i'm talking to you you know like we we here so in my head when i look at a camera i see your eyes girl okay let me stop being weird but literally like if you don't have an audience yet it might feel weird because you literally feel like you're talking to a camera what you can do if you don't have an audience already is like imagine you're talking to your little sister like sometimes i imagine i'm talking to my best See, I'm talking to my little sister. That's why like I come off so like natural and like real because this is really like how I would talk I definitely recommend filming everything in your spare time Of course film yourself doing your makeup film yourself cleaning just film and get used to the idea of a camera being around you Literally film a whole video and just not post it But get used to the act of filming consistently to this day I do that as well Like I wanted to get comfortable filming vlogging content So what I did is I just started vlogging and not even been posting it there's so many vlogs i've made that you guys have not seen but each vlog i got more comfortable oh, tip give yourself a timeline i love me a challenge y'all so i'll be like for two weeks i'm gonna film everything i do for two weeks i'm gonna pretend i am this influencer everybody wants to see how i'm doing my hair how i'm doing my makeup the demand it's too much i gotta film it you know like just step into that practice in this time frame you don't have to post practice editing practice using different types of fonts practice different types of music practice to beat procrastination yeah second research start researching like start thinking like what's your niche again do not get stuck on niche though but more so like what do you like to do what do you like to talk about what are you good at what do people already compliment you on also research like what's popular what's trending how can i bring myself into the trend i'll just ask myself these questions and i'll start coming up with different video ideas what are you just naturally gifted at like play towards your strengths like if you got long hair and you always taking care of your hair girl make natural hair videos if you're mad funny do skits like talking about content creating it literally was so random like if you guys look at my other videos i never posted about content but i'm like wait i actually love of content creation i love social media let me just talk about it look what happened and like just experiment don't feel pressured to like stick to one niche we all multi-dimensional we all have so many aspects of ourselves showcase it all and you'll naturally find your niche plan i love this step but i feel like if you're an overthinker like me you could kind of get stuck in the planning stage right so i know we all had a plan for the new year we had the workout plan we had the content strategy we just did not execute i'm gonna break down my personal planning strategy for my content and hopefully it could help you guys first pick a platform when you first get started there's this pressure to grow on instagram grow on tiktok grow on youtube but what you guys got to understand is anything creative takes energy right it takes energy to think of ideas to plan to execute even me sitting here talking hold on where my water it's a lot of energy so if you also have limited time say you work say you're a student it's gonna take a lot of energy so i feel like it's best to focus on one platform and you could always like repurpose i broke down my platforms in my first influencer video but to break it down again for me tiktok is good for instant gratification it's simple it's easier to get views now it's a, it's a little harder now i'm not gonna lie because even me i'm struggling with tiktok i uh, y'all keep asking for a tiktok video i don't know what's going on with that app i'm trying to figure it out too so when i figure it out i'll be here on my couch to tell y'all but until then i don't know instagram i feel like instagram instagram Instagram, you know, what can I say about Instagram? But YouTube, YouTube's for the big dogs. YouTube is for the big dogs, but I feel like YouTube will also test your true desire to create content. I feel like YouTube helps you build a lot more skills and it's the most monetizable. Next, specify the content you are going to make. From the research stage, you would have came up with a bunch of questions and a bunch of kind of topics you could do. Now you're gonna put, I am going to make this video at this date. Then make a schedule. The biggest mistake, even with myself, is you want to make a schedule that aligns with your actual lifestyle. Realistically, babes, are you gonna wake up at 5 a.m. to film three videos before you get ready and go to work and come back from home at five and edit? Cause that's the type of schedule I was making. Talk about, I'ma wake up at 4 a.m., I'ma do my hair and makeup, I'ma film three videos, then I'ma go straight to work. 
I'm clicking snooze at 9 a.m. The videos were not made. When I worked a 9 to 5, uh, the cat's out of the bag. Stay tuned for the next videos. When I did work a 9 to 5, I would film on the weekends and I would edit during work. You could film multiple videos in one day. Just change your shirt, change your hair, change your location, and it looks like a brand new day. For me, realistically, I could film about three videos in a day, right? So you saw how I was very, very consistent in January. What I had done is January 1st, I don't know, I'm a sucker for like the first of the month. It's just like, wake up. It's the first of the month. It's just like into the bag now. It's the first. What I did is January 1st, I filmed three videos. And then during the work week, I had edited. And then I had everything pre-scheduled. I would recommend that. I feel like filming on the weekends is very plausible. Take advantage of your time. Please don't spend your weekends just part. I mean, you could, you could do you. But for me, when I decided to lock in, I stopped drinking. I stopped partying. I stopped aimlessly hanging out. Like either we're celebrating, we're doing something meaningful and valuable together or I'm filming baby yeah you want to practice balance and self-care I feel like when you're really passionate about something and you really 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 want to make something work you stop doing everything you're just zoned in the world tells us to do that when I started getting closer to God I started realizing like I hustle that grind no sleep Th that culture it just leads to burnout that's why so many of us are struggling with burnout because we are not created to be on goal like that. At the end of the day, we have to sleep, you know? So create a schedule that works for you and allows you to still hang out with your friends. Still do the things you love to do and create content because you don't want to start making content miserable. Definitely pray. Pray over your content. Pray that God gives you strength. Pray that God enhances your creativity, y'all. This was the game changer for me. When I gave my content over to God, like God, speak to me. What videos should I be making? What is my purpose? What do you want me to tell your people? That's when everything changed. God blessed me with y'all. I didn't get this on my own. I had planned to post one video a week for three months in order to get 10K. Y'all, I think I posted like five videos and I fell off. I still hit 10k not by my strength not by my might the one thing I realized like with God is if you put in the work he's gonna help you if you batch create if you start editing he's gonna help your videos do well as long as you submit your content to him and you pray over it you know what I'm saying you're preaching something that aligns with you for real like a lot of y'all aren't being real with you so the camera people could pick that up when I'm talking to y'all right now I'm being so real like I don't have no ulterior motives I'm not pretending to be someone I'm not and I feel like y'all resonate with me because of that so now next step number four create a plan without execution it's just a dream. It's just a wish. Now you want to create based on your schedule. So if you say you're posting every Thursday, so say Saturday, right? You film three videos, okay? Sunday, you edit. Now throughout the week, during your break, after work, in the morning, you edit. Now you have the video edited by say Tuesday, right? Now you schedule it and have it ready for Thursday. Guess what? You filmed three videos and now you start editing the second video Wednesday. It'll be ready by say Sunday, boom. Now you're two weeks ahead. Do you see how that works? Like it's a game changer for consistency because that's exactly what I've been doing lately. And as you can see, it's, it's saying five days, six days, one week. Yeah, we getting consistent, baby. Also fall in love with the process. For me, my favorite part and what makes me so passionate about content creating is I'm making something out of nothing. Because if you really look at a video, it's really just one long video. Like you could take that video and create a story. You could take that video, make people feel something, make people see life your way like it's such a beautiful art that you need to romanticize like creating content don't look at it as a task i need to create content so i can get rich if you don't love it and if you're not in love with the process it's gonna become a nightmare imagine getting rich off of something you hate doing imagine you literally hate writing and now you you're an author <laughs> so imagine you hate creating content but you want to become a content creator what you gotta love this so if you don't let's consider other things and create out of authenticity because authenticity is all we have left <laughs> like people are tired of the same old same old the same old advice the same old tips and tricks i feel like you know that thing that happened in 2020 it left us so socially deprived and so disconnected that now we truly do seek connection you're creating content look at it as you you have a chance 
to connect with someone you have a chance to impact someone's life for the better like what are you gonna do serve people through your content help people through your content that's what i say when content creation will develop you as a person like naturally i feel like i was a very selfish person and god revealed that to me so that's when i started making more helpful content because it's like i want followers i want followers okay jesus only had 12 followers and he did a lot shift your focus from more 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 how about being more intentional creating quality content in that this one gets a little tricky post promote repeat say with me post promote repeat okay you're gonna post use best practices posting time and things of that nature don't matter but sometimes you gotta think critically if it's 12 a.m on a monday like midnight is it the best time to post a video you know what i'm saying if a tragedy just happened is it the best time would i like this at this moment timing is everything on the internet just be mindful i still use tags hooks all those like tips and tricks type of things apply them here per se promote share your content you literally took so much time to create this like post it on your story a lot of us are too consumed with how do i get my friends to support me how do i get my family babes you don't even post your own content post yourself recording post yourself filming you have to be excited about your own content about what you're doing then other people will be like wait why are they so hype about their content like let me see what they talking about watch this video it's gonna change your life that's how i'm talking but if you're like oh it's a, it's a cool little video or whatever if you're not even excited about your content but you want us to be hype if it's quality it will work y'all my influencer video the one that's almost at i believe 200k when i posted that video youtube said it was my worst video they said consider changing the thumbnail i said no i know this video is good i know it i'm whatever i'm just gonna leave it it was sitting at a thousand views for time look at god and now i feel like another place where you guys get stuck repeat i feel like a lot of y'all post content and then you hyper obsess over that one video is it going up is it going down oh my gosh are people commenting you posted it you did what you had to do let the public take it as they may i read a quote that just changed my whole outlook it said job as an artist is to create not to critique leave that to the audience by creating you've already done what you had to do what the algorithm does is their business what the people do is their business now, if you give it your all and if you could help one person what more but obviously it hurts when videos flop okay you want to repeat and review essentially i forgot that repeat and review so this was a huge mistake i would make like i would post a tiktok and i'm watching it i'm watching it babes Nowadays, I post a TikTok and I'm too busy editing the next TikTok to even be checking how the other one is doing. You want to give yourself like a timeline. Say once a week, you'll go through and review your videos because I do think that's another thing you guys aren't doing. When you post content, don't look at it like, well, that was a good video. I don't know why people aren't watching it. I don't know why the algorithm isn't promoting it. It's the algorithm. It's the okay but what can you do look at the video look at okay what might people not like about this don't repeat the same mistakes and expect different results if your intro is lackluster you don't have a hook your thumbnail looks crazy your picture has bad quality and you keep doing the same thing but expecting results why but what, what change okay so maybe try making your goals like instead of i'm trying to grow ten thousand in a week maybe how can i make every video better how can i connect more how can i serve my audience more how can i engage more some of y'all are not even replying to the comments you do get but you're trying to grow to summarize because i feel like i may have thrown a lot at you first practice just practice getting comfortable in front of the camera i get research ask yourself some questions what do i want to talk about what content do i like to watch what do people like to watch what do people my age like to do what do people what's trending now you're gonna plan actually dial down write down the videos you're gonna make when you're gonna make it when you're gonna post how many times a week you're gonna post, what platform you're gonna post on, all that. Make a legit plan and then you're gonna wanna create. Create the content according to your plan and stick to your schedule. Give yourself a timeline. For one month, you're gonna practice. The next month, you're gonna create and post. You wanna promote yourself. Be proud of the content you're making. You're putting so much time and energy into it and just continue. Consistency is key. Continue, but also look back at your work. Like, was this good? Could I have done better? How can I make this video better? How can I create a better version of this? Aim to improve the quality of your content, not only aesthetic wise, but your message, how you're speaking, what you're talking about, your energy. Aim to literally improve all your content. And yeah, please don't let another six months pass. Don't let another week pass. Stop holding yourself back. Talk to God about it. Like, God, help me. Because for me, it got to a point where I had to pray about it. I said, God, literally, I'm in my own way. Pick me up and make me move. And he showed it. God moved me. He shook the table. And I had to get up. <laughs> and he 
here I am and it's been an amazing journey it's going strong and I'm so so excited for the future I'm so excited for your future you know your life could change if you start creating content you know your life could change if you start that business you know your life could change if you do the things God has placed in your heart so what's stopping you you right don't worry about the people that don't support you there are strangers that will support you more than your friends more than your family we support you we're here for the quality content we're here to hear we're here to hear what you have to say so stop don't delay get on it right now yeah after this video don't watch another video i mean unless it's one of mine no don't watch another video start filming right now start editing right now hope you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to like comment subscribe if i helped you anyway leave video ideas below leave suggestions leave comment engage with me talk to me below and let me know if you try this out and it works like this is just things i'm doing and i'm sharing it with you but anyway love you so much i love you god loves you stay blessed stay healthy stay happy Mwah. bye y'all